conceptual people talk about it all of the elements special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time you know outside of the businesses that i run like myriad business solutions the visionetics institute odyssey media group i also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in houston dallas and other areas uh, i'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in. I hope everybody's having a great uh, holiday uh, kickoff, I guess. I guess it's the kickoff of holiday season, depending on how everybody does, whatever it is you do. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Uh, I just try to bring forth what I know and share it with you guys and hopefully enlighten, empower, inspire, encourage uh, you to make a difference in the lives of the people around you and maybe even a broader spectrum. But look, here we go. Uh, for those who know, support the uh, work we're doing in the description box. I'm going to leave it at that. If you support and believe in what we do, show some love, donate real simple hey uh for those who didn't catch it it was done during a very trying time and i didn't push or promote it the way i should have so i'm back for a second relaunch of my 25th book which is the war on black wealth breaking the code um, the consequences of chasing the american dream uh, when i tell you that i am extremely proud of the work that i have done here uh, I always endeavor to put forth uh, my best foot as far as what I bring to you factually, what I bring to you in the way of concept, ideas, strategy, suggestions, agendas, and so forth. When I tell you that The War on Black Wealth isn't simply a book talking about black group and economics, even though there is a series of chapters coupled together that focus on black group economics and the importance of it. The development of black wealth is far beyond just the idea of practicing group economics. It's a mindset, it's a construct, it is a strategy to overcome codes, policies, statutes, and even laws that literally work against the building and development of black generational wealth and the uh, narrowing of the wealth gap deal with that. We deal with how we see each other, how we identify, what are our value systems, what are our values, interests, and principles. It goes into all of that, but it also at the end has some very specific strategies for personal wealth development, meaning that you can start with as little as $5, as little as $10, and you can start to build wealth. And the idea is to pass down more than what was passed to you. That's where you start at. The idea, you know, this isn't about yachts and planes. This is about saying, my kid isn't going to have to take out a $100,000 loan to go to school. So you start there. Then you sit up and say, my kid isn't gonna have to come up with a full down payment on that first home. Then you go there. And you move on and on and you look at this and then obviously you want to enjoy something so you have to build things but it's it, it, it covers everything from indexing and compound growth to annuities to uh, asset allocation uh, diversification and so much so many other things asymmetric risk reward and, and, and all of these different things we visit all of that we talk about it because it's so important to understand 
And we even have a section that deals with the psychology of wealth, understanding why we have to change our identity. We're in the middle of an identity crisis. As we identify and see ourselves, we behave. It is our self-image that dictates our behavior. It's how we see ourselves in the world. Uh, on the surface, people are going to say, what does that have to do with building wealth? Well, that's just it. Building wealth is a practice of specific principles, specific habits. It is a certain behavior. Your behavior is 96% uh, controlled by your subconscious, how you see yourself, how you move, the paradigms and um, constructs that are a part of what shape your behavior, your life, how you move in this world. It's going to determine how you handle money as well. Well, we need to deal with that. We need to deal with how we see ourselves. We need to deal with the fact that we are really heavily weighted in the engagement of symbolism. Why? Because symbolism is the closest representation to the freedom and liberation that we seek. So what am I saying? I'm saying that it is imperative that we understand the entire dynamic that we start to work and that we start to build youth that are aware of who we are, what we're capable of, uh, the understanding of value of collective uh, engagement, collective uh, economic uh, practices. This isn't just about buying black. Black group economics is so much bigger than that. It's about investing black. It's about uh, returning to the community uh, as you grow out of it in order to pour into it and to build into it. There are so many different things. I want you to really truly get a chance to visit it. Uh, we are now relaunching. The book is now available again for those of you who ordered initially. If there's anybody who hasn't gotten your book who pre-ordered the first time around, uh, definitely email us and let us know. Uh, you should have that information if you purchase the book. Uh, for those who want to get in, and here's another thing that we did in this book that I thought was really exciting is we allow people to purchase space in the book to pay tribute to people that uh, made a difference in their lives, whether it was mom, dad, grandma, your high school coach, whatever. And so you are going, if, you, if you're if one of the people who, who paid, you're going to be uh, excited to see your name and uh, the person who you decided to celebrate. Uh, there are some people who we reached out to that paid but never submitted that thing. We're going to do one more revision um, probably at the beginning of the year. So if you have it, um, if you paid and you haven't gotten it, or if you want to pay, uh, anywhere from $25 up will get you uh, the ability to do it. If you do $100, you get a page to yourself. If you want to do that, you can still do it, and we'll do the revive, revision at the beginning of the year. The first of the year, we'll send in one more revision uh, to the first edition, and then that will be it. But if you have it, we need you to get that in by then, if you've already paid especially. Uh, with that being said, look, I no it's easy to talk about it that's what i try to tell so many people that's why we're constantly trying to get people to support the work we do because we actually offer programs that help shape the minds of youth we offer programs that help reconstruct the ideologies of families uh and that means adults as well we literally have put in the work i have put in uh mad crazy thought. I was just looking at the work I've done in collective bias uh, theory, which is a theory I came up with with uh, to explain our behavior. That's over 50,000 hours just in that alone of research that I've put in over the last 30 years. I mean, logging those hours, you know, has really given me some insight into where we are and I want to share it with you. I want to give you an opportunity to take what I have and expand and go and do what it is that you do. On that note, I'm going to get ready to get out of here again, show some love support. Look into the description box. You can either click the link and give or you can give through the organization's cash app account. That information is in the box as well. Whatever it is, show some love. We need you. Uh, we will continue to do what we do, but also get the book. Get the link to the book. Um, and it's in the description box as well. Get the link to the book. Get that book. Book number 25, The War on Black Wealth. 
On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable night.